Hi everyone, uh, I thought today I will take you on a tour of a totally enclosed free fall lifeboat. We can start from the exterior where the dimensions of the lifeboat, the capacity of the lifeboat and the ship to which it belongs is labeled. Here is the entrance hatch to the lifeboat. The doors or the handles of the entrance hatch are clearly labeled to understand which is the open or closed position. In the inside or the internal structure is mainly composed of what we call cabins where people sit and it is at two levels, one where the lifeboat operator is sitting and the other where the rest of the crew will be sitting. We also have hatch doors. There are two hatch doors. One you saw I have just entered from and I will show you the other one uh, closer to the console. This is the other one just, just close to the uh, operator as well. Now the operator sits here and the operator should know how to release the lifeboat, how to operate the lifeboat engine and of course steer the lifeboat away from a sinking ship or any other kind of an emergency including fire systems. Remember that the totally enclosed lifeboat will comprise of uh, fire extinguishing systems, water pump systems, ship sprinkler systems, uh, automatic rescue systems, ship parking system and that is to ensure that the lifeboat is always keeping the occupants safe in all conditions. And the air will be such that it can support um, people's uh, oxygen intake if the ship has to go through heavy area of smoke and fire. Uh, the air supply will be ensuring that people can breathe uh, the oxygen inside it. Instructions for everything is labeled there. All equipment is clearly marked so that you are not confused in that state of panic. You will see where the food is kept, where the water is kept and make sure as a ship's officer that no one paints over these labels. No one uh, while maintaining the lifeboat steers away these stickers because in terms, times of emergency these become very important instructions. You can see here instructions for how to check the lube oil level for the lifeboat engine, how to operate the lifeboat engine. Instructions are provided in the official language which in this case was of course English. You can see the outside of the uh, lifeboat as I told you is uh, it's a little bit of a cylindrical with good self weight balance a and the internal structure is normally divided into three parts so you can say the bottom the hull and the bow now the bottom of the boat is made of high strength material to avoid damage during shaking and the hull it is made up of multi-layer anti-wear and collision resistant material to resist the impact of the waves the bow is made of waterproof and moisture proof material to avoid any kind of erosion by seawater in addition, the lifeboat, as you will see, is also equipped with emergency life-saving devices such as life-saving lights, life jackets, life rafts, uh, life raft, but so as to protect in an emergency. So uh, it is, it acts as a life raft. What I mean, and then you can see here the ship's compass, the lifeboat's compass is there. You can see the release system is there. As an officer, you have to make sure not only you but everyone on the ship. Uh, can operate the lifeboat engine, can release the lifeboat system, uh, is aware of all the equipment that is there inside the lifeboat. You have to make sure that the water is in drinkable condition, the food is not expired. That is why as an officer you have to make sure that none of the items are expired that you are unable to use during the case of a real emergency. All the instructions should be easily understandable by the crew. Even people who do not understand the language then should understand it in their own language. So normally the instructions are kept in the official language of the ship so that most of the crew can understand the instructions. Here you have the other hatchway for you to escape or sometimes for the air to be let in so that sufficient ventilation can take place. Remember the control system of a totally lifeboat, uh, a totally enclosed lifeboat adopts advanced computer technology which can automatically adjust the sailing direction and speed of the lifeboat according to the real-time sea conditions and ship status so as to ensure the safe navigation of the ship. Of course, sometimes some lifeboats do not have these technologies but most of the lifeboats do. You will see that the release handle is uh, labeled there as well very clearly so that people do not misuse it. They do not operate it by mistake. So the reason uh, and the labeling is very clear and it is in luminescent stickers which can easily be seen and it can easily glow at night as well. So the bilge pump here is to use make sure that any water ingress in the lifeboat can easily be then pumped out so that it is not uncomfortable for the people who are sitting inside the lifeboat. It is a safe system. The batteries for the electrical systems are marked as well. There is number one and number two battery which acts as a backup. Uh, here you can see the embarkation instructions and the way how you have to sit, how you have to release the lifeboat is provided as well. You have to make sure that everyone is familiar with these instructions. Outside of the lifeboat you can see there are certain markings provided which provide the type, serial number, make, certificate, approval, 
um, authority everything is detailed this is for the surveyors and for you to know everything will work when time requires